Hello everybody and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to use the various features in the Zero Bank Reconciliation. So what we're talking about here is the different ways in that you can reconcile a transaction and the methods that you have to navigate in the reconciliation screen that are match, create, transfer, discuss, and find and match. So let's go have a look at the bank rec and we'll scroll down to an unreconciled transaction. And this is what I'm talking about here. On the left hand side, you have your bank statement. This is exactly what you will see if you look at your bank statement or if you log into your banking online. And on the right is how we're going to code it in zero. So we have here match, create, transfer, discuss and find and match. So we're going to go through them. Now the first one match. You will see up above here, these first two transactions, they're highlighted on match and it's come up in a green color because it has matched to a transaction that we have either entered into zero, we may have entered a receive money or matched off an invoice and it is matched up to that. Or if this money has come in and it automatically matches an invoice and the name matches the invoice over here rather, and the invoice number matches, if everything sort of lines up in the system, Zero will prompt you to match it. So that's what it's done here. It said that this money has come in and we think it is matching to this item here. While this is pretty accurate, it's not 100%. It could make an error if there were two different transactions for the same dollar amount and the text on the left hand side here wasn't clear about which supplier or rather in this case, which customer or which invoice it related to. So you just have to double check that it makes sense to you. Everything is correct before you hit the OK button. The one down below here, you'll say it says payment, where the one up above does not say payment. So this one where it says payment, looks like a payment has been processed against the invoice manually in the invoice register and now it is picking it up. Now, not to get too much into that, but Matching off a payment against an invoice manually inside the invoice register is optional. You don't. You can skip that step if you want to just match it off in the bank rec stage, which is how I normally do it. So that is match. Match is when the system automatically matches up to a transaction in Zero, or it has been manually allocated yourself, and now Zero is matching up that manually closed off invoice. The next one is create. This is primarily used for spend money and receive money transactions. If you're familiar with Myob, you'll know what I mean. If you're not, a spend money is generally any kind of expense that doesn't have an invoice attached to it. So if you have spent money at the corner store down the road or you've just got a fuel receipt for fuel or any kind of small purchase where you don't get invoiced by the supplier, then that would be a spend money transaction. So that is generally what create is used for. In the case of a deposit like this one here, create would be anything that didn't have an invoice raised for it. So if you have received some bank interest, you don't raise an invoice for bank interest. If you have received some online income through some kind of platform, some kind of platform that allows you to sell services online, and you don't raise invoices for this as such, then you would do a receive money. So create is always pretty much any kind of expense or any kind of income that does not have an invoice attached to it. Now a transfer. A transfer is simply an internal transfer between your linked bank accounts. So in this case, we can see the option here is the business savings account. So at the moment, we're reconciling the business bank account in the demo file here, there are two accounts, the business bank account and the business savings account, as you will see here. If I navigate back to the dashboard. So there's our business bank account, there's our business savings account, there's nothing else. So whenever you do a transfer from one account to the other, that is done here. The discuss item. We can see it's been used up above on this invoice here. It says this is for an old invoice, do not know how to code it. So it's basically just a way to make notes for yourself or make notes for others. So if you've 
done a bit of work trying to figure out what something is, but you're not sure it's something you have to come back to, maybe you have to go query your manager or whoever spent that particular amount of money and you want to leave a note for yourself so that you don't forget what it's about by the time you sort of find out what's going on. You will just write a little note here, um, not sure, queried, boss, 7th of the 9th, 24, sort of thing. Or you could write a note to your boss saying, boss, what is this? It is also used for writing notes to your accountant. Usually, most businesses that operate in Xero will give their accountant access so they can go in and do their own checks, run the end of financial year reports, lodge the activity statements and so on. And you might say, accountant, uh, this was for invoice, I don't know how to match, please fix, something like that. That's what the discuss item is. When you work out what you're going to do to allocate it, you will navigate back over to match, create, transfer or whatever you need to do. Now the find and match. This is when Xero has not automatically matched up a payment to an invoice, be it a supplier payment or a customer payment, but you know that that invoice is in the system and you have to match it up. When Xero will not automatically match it up is when the dollar amounts don't align usually. So this might be in the case where an invoice has been part paid. So maybe it was a deposit on an invoice or a 50% down payment. So you would have to allocate 50% of that payment to that invoice. You'll also have to use this if uh, a supplier has paid you for more than one invoice at a time or if you have paid a supplier for more than one invoice at a time and zero hasn't matched it because the dollar amounts in the bank don't match any individual invoice. So then you'll have to go and manually allocate it. Now if we look at this one here, smart agency, we can see a payment of 4,500 went out on the 23rd of August. It looks like two invoice numbers were part of the payment, 70135 and 70209. So let's go have a look at the purchase register. We'll go over here, we don't need this window anymore. I'm gonna go business, bills to pay. So let's do a search of smart and see if we can pick up any activity for them. And we can see here there is two invoices, 70135 and 70209. And that matches these two invoice numbers here, 70135, 70219. 4,500 came in and you can see there's two and a half here and two there adding up to four and a half. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go find and match back in the bank reconciliation. In here I'm going to search by supplier name so we can pick up both of these invoices and we've got 70135, there it is the top one, we'll click that and we have 70209, that's the bottom one, we'll click that and as you can see, this section here just lit up green, two transactions selected, and we can click OK. City Limousines 1002 looks like the invoice number. I'm going to do a search on 1002, see if there are any invoices in the system under that number. And here we go. ORC 1002 City Limousines. So everything's looking good. Part. So it sounds like a part payment and we, we received $100. So we can see that, well, let's click into it, have a closer look. It was originally for 1100. We received a payment of 850 on the 17th of June. So the amount due is 250 and city limousines must be struggling with cash flow at the moment because they have only paid us $100. But it looks pretty convincing that this is the right invoice. They've quoted the invoice number, so I'm happy with that. So how you do this is you have to go find and match. And we find that invoice. You can search up here by name or invoice number or amount. And we know it's 1002. Here it is here. 1002. This one at the top. And we're going to select it. 
But the problem is here, they've paid 100, but it's out by 150 because there's 250 owing. So what you have to do here is you have to click split. We're going to split the allocation. So we're going to split that and remaining amount will be 150. Click on split and then click OK. So there you have it guys. That's a quick rundown of how to use the match, create, transfer, discuss and find and match. The match and the find and match kind of are the same thing. You can actually even click straight on the match and go to the find and match function. There it is. And there you have it. Now, if you're interested in doing any one-on-one -on -one training, we offer that on our website. Head over to qtraining.net.au. You can click on the book a session button in the top right-hand corner, and we do one-on-one uh, -on -one Zoom sessions where you will share your screen with us, and we will talk you through any issues you're having using your accounting software, whether it's training or setting things up, whatever you need help with. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.